Hi, people. I thought I'd better pop on and try and brighten your day. So I thought I'd start a little series called Tales from the Pack. And um, they are just stories from past dogs and little things that they've done and that have been quite uh, different or unique. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with Inky. Let's get these glasses off. Now, look, I'm badly in need of a haircut, but we're not going to discuss it. I mean, it's my new style, but it, it is it's too long at the moment. But we will just ignore that. OK, right. Now, Inky was a very special dog. She was the most balanced Border Collie I have ever known. She never laid a tooth on me as a puppy. Never. Um, anyway, after we lost Sally, um, so we're going back to 2015. It was April 2015, um, we lost Selly. So there was just Inky and YY, the two Border Collie sisters, same mum and same mum and dad, but a year apart in age. Um now <clears throat> obviously they were older at this time, because I then lost Inky in November, as you know. But that summer, or to the end of end of spring, beginning of summer. Why, why the back door was open, why why came rushing in and she, you know, my dogs are always taught to touch me on the knee with their paw if there's a problem. She came running in and she why why was touching my leg, touching my leg, and I was like, why why, what's wrong? And she rushed to the back door and came back, touched my leg, touched my leg, rushed to the back door. So I said, Okay, I'm coming. And I went outside and there was Inky sitting, looking between her front paws like this. And there was a little tiny fledgling, little blue tip fledgling. The mother was quite happy for my dog to guard her little fledgling because there was a magpie on the fence wanting to attack the little fledgling bird. So I went over to Inky. I said, Inky, what have you got there then, darling? And she looked between her paws and looked at me with her beautiful blue and brown eyes. And, uh, you know, they're both bicoloured. And, um, and then looked between her legs and I said, oh, OK. So I picked up the little chick and got dive bombed by the mother like you wouldn't believe. You know, it's OK for my dog to look after it, but not me. And I popped it on my shoulder. You know, I mean, it was like walking around on me. And I got it off and put it on the fence, all the while being dive bombed by this mother bird. So Inky saved that little bird's life, saved the little bird's life. and. Um, as soon as I had the uh, little fledgling, she, she charged at the magpie to drive it away. So, you know, very short story, and I will, I've got a lot of these, um, but I thought it was something to lift your spirits, you know, because it's getting a bit tiresome, this lockdown thing. Don't underestimate your dogs. I always say it, but please don't, you know. Inky saved a life that day. A little tiny fledgling that would have been snapped up by the magpie. So have a good day. Stay safe. Stay well. Bye for now.